The European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, is one of the largest and most important particle physics research centers in the world, with almost 3,000 employees. About 6,500 visiting scientists from universities and institutes from 80 different countries use CERN's unique facilities for their research. On December the 1st, 2005, CERN celebrated the end of the year of Einstein and the 100th birthday of his theory of relativity with the largest video conference in the world held in Geneva. Six of the world's greatest physics laboratories and science museums were connected via satellite to CERN in Geneva for the Beyond Einstein event. The event was an interactive program on Einstein and was continuously broadcast for 12 hours with scientists and Nobel Prize winners taking part from all around the world. The real goal is uh, making science closer to the general public. This is like a TV show. Uh, we are trying to explain Albert Einstein's physics, but not just his physics, also the mysteries that his physics has left open for today's scientists to study and today's uh, also young students to be intrigued by. Uh, the applications that are coming from uh, Einstein's discoveries into technology, the technology that we are using today and the technology of the future, and uh, also Einstein as a, as a human character. It was an extraordinary event, not only because of the interactive program, but also due to the technology behind it. All seven of the locations around the world used Tanberg video conferencing technology. With Tanberg's multipoint feature, each participant was always able to see the colleagues at each of the other locations. CERN chose Tanberg with the greatest of confidence to provide technical support for the Beyond Einstein event. We have worked with Tanberg for many years already. We've used Tanberg technology for our video conferences since the first webcast was conducted in 2000. So far, we've successfully arranged two or three webcasts. But this is the first time we've connected so many locations together at one time. I must admit, over the years we've tested systems other than Tanberg, but Tanberg was always the one to guarantee the best bandwidth, the highest feasibility, and overall the most successful conferences. CERN employs modern video conferencing technology not only to facilitate high-profile celebrity events such as the Einstein event, Scientists have long trusted this modern method of communication for their daily work. Conferences, briefings or even entire experiments at CERN have been transmitted via video conference throughout the whole world. This means that we don't have to constantly fly around the world in order to communicate with people. CERN foundations lie in Europe, meaning we have 20 member countries. Over the years, CERN has become a worldwide company with currently 85 nations working on our experiments. This means video conferences are crucial in saving time and money. The Beyond Einstein video conference was a total success. There was not a single technical problem during the 12 hours of transmission, thanks to Tanberg. At the same time, Beyond Einstein was the largest video conference to ever take place, not only with regards to the running time, but also the number of participants and bandwidth. With this latest success, Tanberg applied for recognition in the Guinness Book of Records. The Beyond Einstein event was further impressive evidence for the reliability and performance of Tanberg video conference systems. <laughs>